Okay, quick video on an amphiprotic substance, what that means, and what it does. All right, amphiprotic. Okay, we know the prefix of amphi, like an amphibian. It can live in both the land or the water. Okay, so amphi does in fact mean both. And an amphiprotic substance would be one that can be both a proton donor and or a proton acceptor, meaning it can act as a proton donor, it can act as an acid, or a proton acceptor, it could act as a base. The most common amphiprotic substance is water, okay? And here's regular water, right, H2O. It can donate a hydrogen, it could get rid of one of its hydrogens, and go this direction to be just OH. The oxygen would have a full valence shell and have a minus charge. This would be OH minus if it donated a proton. It can also gain a proton if it had a hydrogen attach to either one of the lone pairs, doesn't really matter. And then it would be H3O plus, okay? So water can go either which way. It can donate a proton to become OH minus. It can accept a proton to become H3O plus, okay? And in two different examples for you, just so we can see it. In this case, right, water with nitric acid. Well, nitric acid is going to donate the hydrogen, so water would accept, and this will become H3O plus plus NO3 minus. And just so we make sure we know, this would be the acid, the base, the conjugate acid, the conjugate base. Okay, if I had NH3, ammonia plus water. In this case, my water is going to donate the hydrogen to ammonia. So ammonia becomes NH4 plus ammonium and water becomes OH minus, becomes hydroxide. So this water in this case would be the acid, ammonia is the base, conjugate acid, conjugate base, okay? So water can act as both the base, the acceptor, or the acid, the donor, amphiprotic.